Hi, my name is Porik Olaklan. I'm the general manager of um, Fluke Digital Systems uh, for Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Um, originally, uh, we uh, were a software company called Emate that got acquired by Fluke, and we started building a connected reliability platform called Excelix. I think I've noticed when it comes to Industry 4.0 that there are lots of opportunities for organizations to improve their business processes when it comes to maintenance. But I think one of the challenges is there's nearly too many opportunities out there um, and too many options when it comes to uh, condition-based monitoring, uh, integrating the factory floor, getting suites of applications to make maintenance workers uh, lives easier can actually end up being a hindrance because you have to train people in new products um, and uh, I suppose, have people focusing on something that isn't their day-to-day -day role and what they're really, really good at. So what eMaint and, 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 and really what Fluke have been building over the last few years uh, is a way of integrating all of the applications that a uh, organization is using uh, into one place. And ideally that being a smartphone uh, or a tablet um, that they are holding in their hands. And so what we've started to do is look at all of the tools that we offer and focus on connecting them first for our customer. So in our suite of platform currently, we have the eMaint product, which is a computerized maintenance management software solution. Uh, allows organizations to manage their assets, manage their uh, preventive maintenance, and easily integrate predictive maintenance uh, into their overall maintenance processes. Uh, alongside that, Fluke are obviously the world leader in test and measurement, um, and uh, in, in, we have over two million tools out there on a daily basis being used by maintenance organizations. Um, there are also a number of different sensor applications. They can use Fluke sensors. There's also other organizations who offer great condition monitoring tools. And then we have the kind of the plant itself. We have OPS, we have building management systems, we have SCADA systems. And I think the challenge for these organizations is that this data tends to be siloed. So whether it's data in my software, then data to my tools, data in my sensors, or in my, I suppose, third party solutions like my SCADA or BMS, that data tends to remain siloed. So I think one of the, I suppose, tips that we would give to an organization who's looking to get into Industry 4.0 is looking at a way to integrate all of this data together. Um, so, because this data is definitely more valuable when connected as it is in data silos itself. Um, what we've done is we've developed technology that allows this to happen, um, where our, our customers can integrate one small piece um, without having to eat the whole enchilada, as they say. And uh, whether that be getting a piece of software to make sure that we do preventive maintenance better, whether that be uh, implementing some simple sensor solutions to make sure that we spot problems before they happen, or maybe that is getting my SCADA system or my building management system connected to my software so that an engineer knows straight away on their mobile device when a problem happens, what they need to do to fix it, what the available parts are, uh, whether it needs a shutdown, extra technical assistance, etc. But I think. The key tips for organizations that we would have is that it's, it's, it's really about not boiling the ocean. It's about making it as easy as possible for your maintenance team to do the job that they're great at, which is um, solving problems across the factory floor and providing technology that makes them do that. I think one of the challenges that organizations have is they focus on the technology too much as opposed to solving the problem. Um, our goal is to give you the basic technology uh, that makes solving the problem really easy. And, um, and also allowing customers to use brands that they're familiar with, whether it be uh, a, a, a Fluke, uh, whether it be other organizations who offer si similar technology, we have the ability to take that data into our solution. Uh, overall, the platform is called um, uh, uh, Excelix. Uh, it's a connected reliability platform, um, a mixture of uh, 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 data integration, uh, data capture, and people connectors, um, uh, which is what you see in the tools, the sensors uh, and the data connectors in the software. But I think that the, there's definitely a lot for organizations to chew and evaluate. What we would focus on first is go with a pilot, keep it simple, uh, talk to somebody, talk to some existing customers. Um, if it costs 50% of your maintenance budget, it's probably not a good idea. Um, uh, start with something simple, um, measure an ROI, and then scale that return on investment across your organization. I think when it comes to manufacturing organizations, um, obviously the goal is to maximize uptime, minimize downtime, and, and increase productivity. And one of the challenges for maintenance organizations within manufacturing and, and in implementing Industry 4.0 is data and access to really good quality data. Um, and some of the tips and tricks that, and, and so some of the technology available 
um, uh, is really helpful. It can be sensors to put on your manufacturing equipment so when temperature starts to go in the wrong direction that you get an automated alarm um, uh, or, or spotting early warning signs um, and a manufacturing floor like um, vibration um, uh, issues. Maybe there's acceleration on a specific bearing uh, and having that alarm go out to a technician, have a technician go and be able to fix it um, before the problem happens. Uh, I think obviously one of the other drivers that we've noticed in manufacturing is the challenges tend to be about the mean time to repair, right? Uh, it tends to be what, what we see organizations focusing on from a maintenance perspective because that's the world that we're in. Um, specifically in manufacturing is how can we reduce the mean time to repair without affecting quality um, uh, and out without having repeated failures for the same issue. And, 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 and again, we look at that by integrating, by integrating sensors, by integrating software, so that a technician has all of his or her data in one place. So that when a failure happens, if I can set it up and I have a good mobility solution, I can not only see the, the cause of the failure, I can see the uh, stock levels of the, um, uh, the required part maybe to fix the failure. I can access the O&M manuals in one place. And then I can also pass it on to another uh, colleague of mine who's maybe more skilled um, and maybe has got the correct permits to do that work. Traditionally, that's five or six specific actions that an organization has to do. And um, what we focus on helping our customers do is have that happen in one action and having that data all live in one place. And again, helping our customers build a connected platform of all of their reliability initiatives initiatives in one place and I think in, in, in manufacturing organizations specifically um, it's reducing that mean time to repair reducing downtime um, obviously increasing your OEE uh, and, and there is no silver bullet to do this I think the, 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 the most important thing to get this done is still people at the end of the day and um, what we're looking to do is just to empower those people uh, with the right technology to make the job easier um, and, 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 and Fluke obviously has been around for a long time, has been built uh, uh, with the technician at heart um, from the bottom up and um, we have over two million devices uh, out there at the moment capturing data on a daily basis and so our goal is to take it to the next level, have all of that data integrated so that a guy doesn't need to go to one place to get his data from his tools, doesn't need to go to another place to get his data from his SCADA system and that all of that happens in one place and, and obviously the value of that data connected is far more valuable. The same way having a suite of applications and an iPhone allows you to do things that you weren't able to do before because all of those applications are in the one place. Um, uh, um, previously we were able to, if I wanted to send a picture to somebody, I had to take a picture in a camera, I had to connect the camera into my computer and I had to email it to somebody. In an iPhone, that all happens in one place. We're looking and have achieved something similar across the factory floor with our customers who are implementing software solutions, tool solutions and sensor solutions that we provide.